this is the first day playing it heading out and we played it for uh, four hours but if you go into my stats here uh, and we're just gonna do a quick little first impressions I'm definitely gonna play more and we'll do like a final final review later but for the first uh, couple hours playing I want to answer some questions just in case people might have them so here are my stats for playing four hours so you can see here we have three deaths yeah four hours and three deaths now I defeated uh, the first couple of bosses on the first try and I'm telling you they were really 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 hard so I think for people to get to the point where I am progression wise it's gonna be like at least 10 ish 10 to 20 plus deaths uh, but I, I, I did pretty well so this game is really 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 good um, games like it well obviously if you play like the binding of Isaac you played Hades you played Risk of Rain 2 and all that stuff. And you love them and you want even more better and greater roguelikes and this is it. Uh, the story isn't that crazy fascinating to me personally. Um, I like more of a fantasy setting, but this is like, you know, an alien sci-fi setting, which is, you know, if you're into that, that's awesome. But I think a lot of people are going to play this game and this is going to be their first roguelike. Um, unless you already play roguelikes, but mostly those who have, they're mostly indie games, like the old tiny ones. But this is like a huge, like a big game. So runs last a really long time if you go the distance. Now, assuming you go through many rooms as you can, try to level up your character as you go. I don't know, it can be like, I feel like it's going to be a three to five hour run to complete it fully. But if you want to rush through it, you know, it's, it's all about trial and error learning all the characters and stuff so this game takes the best out of all the Rolex I've played you know it has perma upgrades it has lots of different types of weapons modifications customization um, it has sort of a metroidvania type of thing where you go further and then you unlock perma equipment uh, to make further runs easier to go different pathways kind of like dead cells if you've played that um, The gameplay loop is really good. It's really 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 good. This is a bullet hell Definitely bullet hell. I mean you even have like different colored bullets So you know the speed that they're going so it's easy to dodge and run around you got like, you know iframe dodges you're so fast and mobile you have a lot of different types of ways to take out your opponents different builds melee all that stuff you have a ton and that's what i really like risk and reward options here for example there are parasites that you can pick up they usually have a good and bad thing for example maybe while you have a parasite on you you have like a 50 less melee damage but enemies now drop more money and stuff like that so and you can also get rid of them and then they have like chance curses where you can pick up an item open a chest but you have like a chance to get cursed and then the only way to get rid of that curse is to do a specific task. I'm gonna give another example. Yeah, you, you open up a chest and you get cursed, but you get whatever was inside, so that's cool. So the curse is you deal 50% less damage in the air. So the only way to fix it is you get five uh, melee kills and then you go from there. The game has shops. Uh, that's why you have the currencies. You have perma currency to help you to future runs if you want to save up. You can see that the 22 on the bottom. The map system is amazing here. It's so good. It's not a good example here because I just started to run. Uh, but then you get all the statuses here. It's a really, really good game. God, this is such a good game. I feel like uh, for those who haven't played much of these games and are, you know, like this is a this is a pretty difficult game. And the only gripe I have is that you cannot save. The only way you can save is by resting your PS5. But what if you want to turn it off? What if the power goes out? What if you want to play a different game and come back here later for a longer run? That's the only thing that's bad. And I have a feeling that they, they just can't do that because there's a ton of ton of little moving mechanics all over the place going around randomizing and the game's just crazy running. So I don't think they can, you know, want, want to reload all that. It's just, uh, it just feels like a nightmare, right? But yeah, this game has a, like, think about any awesome thing in roguelikes. Different weapons, you got it. Lots of different artifacts and shops to mix and match. You got it. You know, it's really, really, really good. And uh, I'm definitely going to play more. But I am I was really um, surprised at my own skills in this game. Because I, I went through a couple of biomes my first try. 
and this is one of those games where you they want you to go die get stronger go die get stronger go die and get stronger but i was able to get through a lot so i'm going to be able to uh you know get further faster farther stronger but this game is really 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 good i highly recommend it god on the ps5 store it's like what 65 bucks or something Oof, mama mia but returnal is it's a great game I'd say easily, easily get it if you love Hades, love Binding of Isaac, Dead Cells, Risk of Rain, and you want more. It's a great game. If you can get by the setting, if you can, you know, if you like sci-fi horror stuff. Because uh, you slowly uncover why your character's returning and all that stuff without spoiling anything. And then, yeah, it's good stuff. So, yeah, Returnal, check it out. Um, live streaming all of it on Twitch, so come on by. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you there.